Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here, a very good evening to you all, I hope you're all well at home and here we go then, we are back with a £100 in 50p coin on, on the channel, hopefully we can get another coin into this third book that we are doing together. Currently we have found 60 different back commemorative 50p coins, there's 72 different back commemorative 50ps in UK circulation including the Shield and the Britannia, we're only 12 away. Can we make it happen? Can we get another commemorative into this book today? Like I have said at the start of the year, we were into the 50s then. I have said if we can stick at this every single day, I'm sure we can get into those high 60s, maybe even into those low 70s by the end of the year. The good news is we found our first commemorative coin. It was the Johnson's Dictionary and hopefully we can add to that coin in this coin hunt. Again, 10 bags in total in this coin hunt. £100 in total. We've found two in this bag. We've got ourselves the 2019 Paddington outside the Tower of London. A coin which definitely is not shying away from the coin hunt, along with the other 2019 Paddington, the one outside St. Paul's Cathedral. Again, for you new coin collectors out there, there was four Paddington designs released in total, two in 2018 and those two in 2019, which I mentioned. Oh, it's exciting times. We've finally hit another Olympic. I do think it's nearly been one and a half thousand pounds. I can't believe what the other coin is. I think it's been one and a half thousand pounds of 50p's. We've got the wheelchair rugby coin. But there is another coin lurking in here as well. It's a beautiful territory coin. Haven't found one of these for some time. It's from the victory coin set. It's the letter R. And I do think it could be just the second time I've found the letter R in the coin. And again, these territory coins do turn up. The most common is the Isle of Man 1997 TT races. You do get a few Floresha flowers knocking around as well. But oh my, what a bag. The London Olympic Games 2011 wheelchair rugby followed up with the R from the victory coin set. Can this bag get any better? There isn't anything else in there. There could be some rare shields or Britannias. We'll check them at the end of the coin hunt. we are just got to double check. We do unfortunately already have one of these in the book. And it is a good quality one as well. I do think we might have actually found maybe three or four of these since we've started this book. We swapped some of them out on them Sunday swaps as well. That coin will be up for swapping in a swaps video. A few people did want me to help them with the swaps and I was unfortunately away at the weekend. So there is going to be a midweek swaps video as well. That is going to go up on Wednesday. So again, if you do need any help with your coin swaps, please do let me know and I'll try and help you out all as much as possible. But I've definitely got a smile on my face now. We've finally found an Olympic. It's taken a while, like I say, I do think probably one and a half thousand pounds of 50p coins we've had to look through. But we have found a beauty there. Again, I know that I have said this quite a few times when we first started this channel off over three years ago and we were doing the coin hunts, you could pretty much find an Olympic in every 250 pounds that you look through. Unfortunately, so many have been fished out of circulation. Now, again, the average I do believe is around a thousand. We've gone through that little bit of a difficult patch and not finding one. We're about, like I say, one and a half thousand pounds since we have, but I am so happy. Oh, unbelievable. Four coins. Can the coin on get any better? We will have to wait and see. Probably not, but I am more than happy. Can't speak with the R there from the victory coin set and the wheelchair rugby in the same bag as well. Talking of amazing coin finds, there was a Q Gardens found. What is going on though here? What is going on? We found... Oh, uh, what is going on? This is unbelievable. First, we stumble across a coin that we barely find, the wheelchair rugby. Then we hit the V from the victory coin set. Now we've just hit the 2018 Beatrix Potter, Miss Tittle Rouse. Tittle Rouse. The 2018 Miss Tittle Rouse. That's what this coin hunt's done to me. The third rarest from the Beatrix Potter set, the Miss Tittle Mouse. 13 different designs released in total in that set between 2016 and 2018 for circulation. Oh my, unbelievable. I was just about to say Dennis Hill found a Kew Gardens earlier on in the week. And then we've uncovered another stunning coin. Let's say it again. Dennis Hill was finding the 2009 Kew Gardens. Unfortunately, it didn't work there, but unbelievable. 
Five stunners as well there. This has got to be probably the best coin hunt of 2022. And in all fairness, it's going to be very difficult to beat. Unless we can pick up one of those super rare Olympics. The rarest, the offside rule explained. Judo, wrestling, triathlon. They are all like gold dust. Unless we pick them up or the queue. Even if we found a Jemima. These three beauties definitely do match that. And I do think this could be hard to beat this year. Again, we are going to try our best to hunt through as many 50p coins for those commemoratives as possible. And again, I really would love to nearly complete this book together. Again, I would really love to complete it. But just saying, if we can nearly get there, we're not going to try and just get our hopes up. And I do think we could definitely get to that 70 coin mark. The next coin then we have managed to find, it's coin number six. It was the Christopher Ironside from 2013. That coin was actually voted the most common coin found between all of the subscribers on the channel. It was indeed closely followed by the 2019 Paddington outside St. Paul's, then the Tower of London. The fourth most common find is the 2017 Benjamin Bunny. And the fifth most common find is the Sir Roger Bannister at the moment from all of the votes that we have had in. Every single month or maybe every six weeks or so. I am going to keep asking you and it'd be really nice to see some feedback to see what coins are currently out there at the moment. And again, for those new coin collectors, coins to definitely try and keep a lookout for. And we have found another beauty. The coin hunt keeps on giving. We've got an original 2016 Beatrix Potter. If we find any from 2016, I am always more than happy. And it is the first of the 13 designs to be released for circulation. It's the Beatrix Potter anniversary. So let's continue then. We are getting towards the end of the coin hunt now. And even if we don't find any more, we definitely cannot be complaining with this this evening. What an evening this has been. And also what a day it's been as well. We must be over the 20 commemorative coins now for the full day. We started off with a 50p coin hunt. We've done a £2 coin hunt as well. We're finishing off then with another 50p coin on and this one again has got to probably be well it's definitely been the best one of 2022 and it could well continue to be so by the end of the year we finish off then with the beatrix potter anniversary the first of those beatrix potters to be released for circulation we also found the third rarest in the set the 2018 miss tittlemouse the third coin then we have found is the christopher ironside from 2013 Coin number four is the Johnson's Dictionary, an absolute beauty, super common coin, and I'm sure a lot of you will have found that one at home. We move on then to the fifth coin. It's an Olympic. It's a beauty as well. The lighting in here does make coins look a little bit better quality than they actually are, but still it's a beauty. It's the wheelchair rugby, and it's an Olympic 50p coin find. Coin number six is the Paddington then outside the Tower of London. Again, one of four different Paddington designs to be released for circulation. And then we finish off with a territory coin. It's from the Isle of Man. It is the R from the Victory coin set. An absolute beauty. And again, it is always nice to find a territory coin, whether it is from the Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey or Gibraltar. What a coin hunt indeed. What's the star find? I'm going to have to leave it to everyone at home. It's got to be maybe from one of these three if it was up to me. But again, everyone's coin preference is different. I can't pick. I honestly can't pick. I'm going to leave it to everyone at home. Get your star fine in the comments section below. And tomorrow, I will let everyone know what has been voted the most. And I would believe that whichever one of those three is a star fine, it's going to be the star fine of the day as well. We have found some nice coins today. Definitely do head over to the other coin hunts that we have done and check them out. But this one, it's definitely going to be one to remember this year. Again, get your star find below. So happy that we've just done an amazing coin on together. Hopefully a sign of things to come. And as always, thanks for watching.